We are nucleating a large mandibular cyst. I've just made the opening there on the bone like a window. All of this you see is a cystic material. There's an impacted wisdom tooth there associated with this. So it's most likely going to be a dentigerous cyst. That's first in my differential diagnosis and also in the scan. And the second one is an OKC. An orthogenic keratosis. What I'm now doing is trying to expose more of the cyst so that we would be able to put an instrument and enucleate it in some way or the other. So try to take off these bony stitches gently. No loose. So what is that? Bipolar. Can you give me a elevator, please? Oops. So you saw that's the issues material. Come out. Excellent. Wash. Okay. Okay, give me the elevator again. Small suction. Wash. Wash. Okay. the base of it now so we haven't reached the uh, effects of it and so can you hold this please okay no no get this Two no curate from the Mitchell's back side. See, I'm using this instrument, it's like a Mitchell's, but like a curate. So we have to make sure the membrane comes out intact. There's no chance of recurrence whatsoever. After the enucleation, I'm also planning a peripheral osteotomy, chemical cauterization. These procedures would make sure that 
hardly any chance for the cyst to recur. You see, so I've removed it from the top. Now you can see the empty space. And now we're moving into the deeper part. again that's some piece of the bone that has been expanded by the cyst you would typically call it as the eggshell super thin Trying to go all the way, all the directions. Okay, there you see this guy now. I'll scoop it out from the bottom. Wash. Remember I told you this is associated with an impacted wisdom tooth and the tooth is going to be anteriorly placed. So now we have to work our way a little anteriorly. Can you hold this like this please? You see that's the anterior extent. I'm going to come with the Okay, now we give me some more measures again or something else. Measures again. I think that's the place where the tooth is. or something can you hold this please or just an hour let me think this should take even artery forces is fine Okay, so I've removed this from the tooth because now I have to try and take some bone out from the impacted tooth and then take it out. If I have to take it in one piece, I'm going to lose more bone there. You can see the tooth now. Okay. There is the tooth. Wash. Yep. Tooth here. That's the tooth. 
I'll put expose some more then you can see it more clearly the tape is on this side change the bulb for me please for my normal long very thickness thick for me <coughs> So pretty large cyst, it's about 4.5 centimeters in one dimension, the longer dimension. Cortical expansion is probably about a centimeter in the longest area. Tires or crash bar. It's right there, yeah. So there is the tooth. Give me the mold. So I made a small hole on the tooth, and on that hole we use put this in and just lever it out. Now the tooth is lying flat. We we'll have to try and take it out. Okay, it's moving. It's right there. There's some more bony attachments. <laughs> 